Hello everyone, welcome to my second biography on a saint. This time the saint of his eponymous day, Saint Valentine. Who was he? Why do we associate him with love? Did he live a lovely life? The answer to the last question is most certain no, but without further delay, here is my biography on Saint Valentine. Enjoy! 1,847 years ago, in 175 CE, or later, this is heavily debated, St. Valentine was born in what is now the Italian town of Terni. At the time, it was under the Roman Empire. We don't know any of his family members or much about St. Valentine, but we can infer that he was probably not too rich. In fact, we don't know anything about Valentine until after his childhood, which is where I will pick off. The first confirmable facts about Valentine's life is when he was a young adult in roughly 200 CE or maybe 215, we still don't know anything about his life practically. At this point, he had become a devout Christian priest, briefly working as a doctor. He would serve as a priest in Rome, which he likely moved to. While in Rome, he did what every Christian at the time was good at doing, pissing off Roman emperors, in this case, Claudius Gothicus. The reason Claudius Gothicus was pissed off at Valentine was because he was conducting marriages when it was illegal to do so at the time. Claudius Gothicus banned marriages because he thought it would distract his soldiers. Once Claudius Gothicus heard about Valentine's actions, he had him arrested. While in prison, Valentine said that he was, quote, spreading love from Jesus Christ. This is why he is associated with love today. Also while in prison, we reach a famous story. Valentine made friends with his prisoner, Astorius, who was like, Yo, man, my daughter Julia's one key teacher recently, she can't read her love letters. Valentine was like, yeah, whatever. Once the emperor found out about this, he decided to pardon Valentine. On the one condition that he stopped being a Christian and he converted to Roman paganism. Valentine was like, are you serious, man? This is a joke, right? How about you convert to Christianity? The emperor was like, okay, I tried, you're gonna die. With the Emperor's plan to kill Valentine, Valentine was surprisingly chill about the situation. Valentine wrote a letter to Julia, where we get the term of calling people our Valentines, and using letters to do so, which he signed, from your Valentine. With this, after being in prison for decades, on this day, February 14th, 1752 years ago in 270 CE, Valentine was martyred by being dragged before officials, getting tortured, getting stoned, getting beaten with clubs, and finally having his head lobbed off bit excessive Romans. His body would be split apart and various parts of it were sent to different churches all over Europe. With Valentine's martyrdom, his popularity would rise. In 496, Pope Galatius declared the first Valentine's Day since he wanted people to stop celebrating the graphic Roman festival of Lupercalia because it involved smearing naked people with animal blood and random matchmaking. Luckily, Galatius succeeded. Valentine was probably canonized as Saint Valentine by this point. Ever since, his skull has been on display in his hometown of Terni, and he has become the patron saint of lovers, epileptics, and beekeepers. And with that, that was my biography on St. Valentine. My next video will be on another current event. It will be on the trucker protests occurring around the world. It will cover what is going on and what hazards they could pose in the near future. It will come out on February 20th. Thanks for watching and happy Valentine's Day.